This show is sponsored by Lila Arboretum Society. Hello, I'm Vi Gogol, Master Gardener, and we're on the Battle Creek Garden Tour, and I'm here with Cindy Notke, and uh, we're admiring all the beautiful color she has. It doesn't have to be in bloom to have color. I, that's a point I try to get across to everybody. Thank you, Cindy, for being on tour. Oh, we're glad to do this, and we've had a lot of fun getting ready. Good, good. Uh, the trees in the front, uh, the maple tree with the purple leaves, burgundy leaves, I guess they are, uh, they, you pick that color up in your foliage all along the house. Yes, we, we like color. Um, I'm kind of a, um, a bookend person. I like continuity and things. I don't like to have a lot of mess. I have color themes in the front and in the back and on the side, so <laughs> we now tried what, to coordinate as best that we could. But it, but it's really great. People should realize that when you buy a perennial, you don't just buy it, buy it for the blossom. Look at the foliage and see if that's going to complement your garden. Right. Now these trees, there's one on the very end down there. Uh, okay. Is that a, a Japanese maple yes. and is it blood good? I believe so. We've got one at each end. Right. And then I think you told me the other night that that's uh, variegated dogwood. Dogwood, yes. Yes. That's beautiful. That, you know, it's got green and white. Mm -hmm. And it looks so nice with the, uh, the burgundy leafed or the blood good. And then these out here are uh, Crimson King or Crim King? Okay, yeah. Crimson he, King, King Crimson? So, yeah, he, yeah. Cr Crimson King, I think you got the first time. Yeah, that's, uh, and who who trims your uh, topiary there that's... My husband. You're, he does that, huh? <laughs> we do everything. We don't have lawn service. Um, we don't have in-ground sprinklers. We do everything the old-fashioned way. Yeah, and uh, let's see, you've got the, the burgundy-leafed rose something, the coral, coral bells. Coral bells, yes. I can't yeah. remember. Remember the uh, name? It's got the pinkish in the leaf, and I right. and I have one of those too, and I don't remember the name. My memory's going. Yeah, uh, they kind of meander around the the tree and between the hostas. And, and where did you say you got a lot of your uh, shrubs? Greenscape Services okay. on Dickman Road. Yeah, because I, I we've had several uh, homeowners that went there and told them what they wanted, and they actually found them somewhere oh. other than Battle Creek. Yeah, and and brought them in. Um, yeah, they're great out there. We've gone to them for years for our trees and flowers. And I don't know if Dave can get around the, the topiary. I don't think that's really called a topiary, but it's a trim. <laughs> it trims it. But there's a, a, a gazing ball over there that is just gorgeous. And I'd like to know where you got the stand to put it in. Um, at uh, Ho Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, okay. And I got the gazing ball there, too. Well, I got my gazing ball somewhere else, but I need... A thing like because it keeps falling out, oh. and I'm afraid it's going to break. It's just it's the same colors you have, but it's not that pretty yeah. a pattern. It's kind of uh, when the, abstract. When the sun comes from, is it setting from the west? It shines all kinds of colors. Oh, all over the porch. <laughs> it's oh, kind of pretty. <laughs> that would be gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, we've got. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name. A uh, barberry. Barberry, but ro rosy glow, I think it is, something like that. Yeah, that could be. That I don't recall exactly, oh. but those are barberries. Yeah, and I think boxwoods. Yeah. That, isn't that what that's called? Yeah, boxwood. that's boxwood over here, yeah. the green one. But those th those colors, yeah, I mean, you've just tied your colors all together with the foliage. Yeah, well, thank it's you. It's just great. Our um, wedgelia down front here, it's starting to rebloom, but those are pinks and burgundies as well. Right. Yeah. We've got a little white in there thrown in for, just for the heck of it, a little and, bit of yellow. And, and you've got a hanging basket over there on the up next them, to the yeah. house, and it's got those colors in it. Yep. That's, I can see more out here when I walk beyond the border. <laughs> out into the front yard, I can see other things. Um, there's a bird bath. 
Yes. Is that a frog on the bird bath? It is a frog on the bird bath. They like water too. <laughs> I guess I've just never I seen one. I think we picked that up. That's the first one we have. We have four of them now. And that's the first one we got. And I think we picked that up at Horrocks. We were just walking through one day and went, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so. it is. And then the, the, the hydrangeas that's under the window, is that an Annabelle? Yes, it is. I double checked and that's what it is. Yeah, I love Annabelle. But I keep trying the others, and they all bloom on new on old wood, and they always die down to the ground. Oh, this thing! This thing is huge. If we let it go, it would cover the whole sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. He's mine, already trimmed it twice this year. And mine, mine have spread quite a bit. I've moved them to other parts of my yard, and I just, I just love the Annabelles because of their ease of care as far mm -hmm. as keeping them blooming. Uh, let's kind of walk towards the back. Okay. We added these beds here this year underneath the maples. Under the, the maple trees? It's got uh, a Dianthus coreopsis and the grasses, which you said were Japanese, Japanese forest. Yeah. Yeah. And then a peony, it, it kind of balances the tree. Yeah, I, I was going to mention that Japanese forest grass because you've got it in the border too, mm -hmm. up by the house, and I, I just love that. And that's that works in shade too. Yes, it's, they work both places. They're yeah. both doing very well. But it really brightens up a shady spot. Yeah. Oh, if we look, if you look ahead, Dave, over to where the next Crimson King tree is, look at how those are glowing over there without any sun on them. Mm -hmm. They're glow. I think we probably should walk out towards the end of the drive. It's in there to it a does. certain yeah, and you've got a, a drain a down there. there for it. Right, there's but, but this that rock would the rocks would keep the soil in place mm -hmm. for your plants. We started out with just the rocks and then I thought it looked a little boring, needed some color. So I used to plant um, impatience and things out here, but that was when we had a lot of trees and a lot of shade. And then after a while the impatience didn't do well, so I put this vinca in. And we decided it needed more color. It, it does bloom two, three times a year. And as you see in the corner yep. there, it's starting to bloom one little, again. One little bloom there. Yeah, yeah. but um, I needed some more color. So we stuck the pansies in there this yeah. year. And that was one of my mother's favorite flowers. Yeah. I always think of her when I see that. So far, they've done pretty good. I'm, I'm a little concerned when we get days and days and days of hot weather, but. Are there stra uh, strawberries? There are some wild strawberries that yeah. found its way in there this year. And I'm leaving them because I like them. They were not there last year, so I, I don't Some know. Bird brought, bird, bird brought it in, so yeah. he planted it, and I'm keeping it. Yeah, that's that's neat. Okay, let's. I think we can make it maybe to the backyard this time. Okay. I think it has a, some beautiful begonias. Yes, that's those are new that we planted this year. We decided we wanted some color and. We're getting into the orange, yellow, and purple theme in the backyard, so. Okay, and uh, are you gonna take those in in the winter? I don't know. Can you do that? Yeah, well, they, if they work, uh, uh, you can store them dormant, or I think you can just keep them alive. If you've got a place for, you've got quite a few of them. Yeah, there's six of them, I think. Yeah. yeah so really, I don't know, we'll think about that. Yeah, something to think about, and your hummingbird, uh, Garden art. Yep, we got that in Florida. Oh, here comes my granddaughter. Oh, we were all right. He's not looking at me. He's looking at Dave. <laughs> she, she's <laughs> fine. She's just a barker. Is that like from Cheers? Those yes. Like them, those yes. people. Yep. And not Cheers is the other one. Yeah, uh, Frazier. Frazier. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's walk a little further. I, I recognize the these pasta in here, but I can't think of the name. I'd have to go dig them up. They're just, and I that, wanted something, something small that wasn't going to get real big. I think that little one is Golden Tierra maybe. Does that ring a bell with you? Is, it it could, yeah. is this June? The larger ones? It June. could be June. Yeah, it could be. And that they're set off so beautifully with the, the, the little impatience. Yeah, in the there. impatience love that tree. They grow well there every year. See, and then Dave can check over here. Look, look how she's camouflaged her, her uh, waste product. <laughs> back I, in I the mean, woods. that's great. I wonder how I can get that in my yard. 
to hide mine. It just sets right out where yeah. everybody can see it. Well, we talked about putting a fence there, but I don't know. It just seemed like a lot of work to me. We didn't come up with a really good solution. I, I think it's great that, that you camouflaged it yeah. so back there. And now the wagon and stuff, that won't be there during the show. We'll put that in the garage. But then you've but got your wildflower cans. garden. That's our wildflower patch, yep. Yeah. That, we just did that this year too. We got some a big bag of seeds at, at uh, Lowe's and just scattered them about. And, and they're doing well. There, there are a couple of places that you can buy individual wildflowers. I've heard that. Native to, to Michigan. One's yeah. up in uh, Portland, Michigan, which it's about an hour and a half drive. <laughs> and here's another thing in your garden that I think is genius, is your fire pit. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I don't know if you saw the shopper this morning. I did. But I she did. mentioned your fire pit. Yeah, that's got a stump in it. From yeah. one of the trees that fell, and it's a huge stump, and it was going to cost us a fortune to take it out. So I said, let's put a fire pit around it. So it's, we did. It's genius, really genius to do something like that. Mark I mean, built a little fake fire for the show. so it, A fake fire? Well, you know, we're not going to light it. It's just going to look like Oh, Oh, you mean the the logs in yeah, there? Yeah, he brought the stuff I thought maybe there, he so. had made little paper things that look like planes. Oh, no. <laughs> and a fan blowing you know, up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, this is a miscanthus grass. I think it's grassimilis or grassimilis or... We did not plant that. Uh, actually, a good chunk of what, what you're seeing here is not even ours. It belongs to that lot behind us there. I see the big butterfly on the tree over there. Yeah, got that in Florida. Yeah, I do have to ask my daughter to look around, see if she can find me one. I'll take a picture when I'm here okay. Saturday. Okay. <laughs> see if she can find me one. She'll probably make me one out of ceramics because that's what she does. Oh. She has her little itty bitty shop online yeah, well, and that's, sells ceramics. We got that at a, in Tarpon Springs. Um, actually, it's between Tarpon Springs and Clearwater. It's oh, on uh, 19, and it's a place called Antiques and Uniques. And, and a man in Tarpon Springs that owns the um, lands one of the landscaping companies makes those. Uh, so yeah, and they, uh, there's several other things that I see in this bed too that you maybe picked up on your travels. Uh, some of them, yes, the chicken. Yeah, and I told you up. when I leave Saturday, <laughs> I better make sure it's make there, sure huh? it's still there. <laughs> Might want to do that with the butterfly too. Yeah. <laughs> I get lots of ideas from other people's gardens oh, and I, I imagine. and I hope a lot of the people on tour do that too. Yeah. That, now, I see the bluebird down here has a solar mm -hmm. thing. He lights up at night. He, does the bird lights up? The the bottom the base does. The base does. Yeah. Okay. And I wondered what would Each of these houses that are in there's three houses I think uh, that light up at night. Oh, how nice. And there's a raccoon over there that lights up at night. And of course, then the, the solar lights light up. Yeah, this is gorgeous. And then you can. And the butterflies light up. Oh, yeah, there's a butterfly there. How did I miss that? And you obviously been to Rock City. We have. After many years of going to Florida and my begging, can we stop at Rock City and Ruby Falls? Last year we finally did. Ruby Falls <laughs> so is beautiful. It is beautiful. And Rock City was not what I expected, but we really enjoyed it. You know, I've been there. And I can't even remember what what was there. Maybe some some hanging uh, like bridges that are loose. They're on ropes. There's one. I think there is one. Scared me to death. Yeah, but most of it's just a, a highway between the rocks that have yeah. different um, vignettes that kind of go into yeah. the turns. But I do remember that hanging bridge. That yeah. but I had to get my mailbox. Sea Rock City. Yeah, that was my first. Um, birdhouse and then I added all of these back here. And the birds, do they use them at all? Actually the one way at the end, yes, there was a bird in there. I don't, haven't seen any baby birds, but there's a bird in there. In fact, I was going to pull the, the um, twigs out of there and a bird came out. So I said, oh, I guess I better leave it. Yeah, I, yeah that's our Michigan and Tiger. Um, I don't know what you want to call it. Our, our, Memorabilia. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that works. 
That's People a... have gotten those for us for Christmas and things over the years, and my husband's a Michigan fan and a Tiger fan, although I don't know why, because they're terrible, but... Well, they got some great players, I but know. they can't seem to put it all together at That's the same right. time. I they know. lost again last night. Yeah, I know. Broke my heart. Stump from left from one of our trees that fell during that storm. <laughs> we just kind of camouflage it. There's another one there. Some of them just you can't get. There's another one in the grass there. You just can't get them out, and it just costs for just too much money to waste on that. So. We think it's kind of unique. We've got. Oh, a, I like I like the wooden stuff in. Yeah, we've got a memory of it. I like driftwood in the garden. Well, that piece of driftwood right oh, there, right there, I, was something that fell from one of those trees and just dried out. And is that a frog sitting on a it lily is. pad? And obviously, Florida. obviously, he knew it was going to rain today, he did. He's and he got, got his umbrella. umbrella ready. <laughs> Is that the raccoon that you mentioned? Yes, that one like What is it too. made out of? It's that resin stuff. And then really? it's got some, some kind of fabric-y stuff on it that makes it look fuzzy, furry. But you know what it looks like to me from this distance is like it's made out of candle wax. Oh, no, it isn't. No, and I knew it couldn't be, or it wouldn't be out here in the garden. It would it melt. It would melt, exactly. Oh, this patio across from, from this uh, island bed. And you've got your color scheme of, you said, yep, orange, orange, yellow, and, and purple. purple. Your uh, hanging baskets carry the theme. Yep. And, uh, yeah. And let's see, are those, those variegated, is, is that? Euonymus. Uh, Euonymus, yeah, yep. that's what I was. But the leaves, they, they like it here. They're, the leaves are bigger than what I've seen. Well, these two here at the, at the outside edge, we've had those are for years. The two at the other side are newer. They're smaller. But they seem to like it here. And oh, yeah. So, and we like them. We've got a bird chirping up in the tree. Yeah. doesn't like well, us being Well, he's mad here. at me because I'm not filling my bird feeders. I'm waiting because <laughs> when the... We've got new mulch down in there that we'd like to look nice on Saturday. <laughs> but if the feed falls, then the chipmunks get in there and they mess it all up. Yeah. So, well, they'll so just have to be more today. understanding. Yeah. Maybe you can take some, some over to the neighbor's yard. <laughs> <laughs> These chipmunks, we've lived here for 32 years. We never have trouble with chipmunks, but they're stinkers this year. Well, when I put all my bird feeders back here this year, and that's another one of our bird bags. I like the sign. Yeah. This is for the birds. That's my husband's humor. <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> and we examined your raspberry bushes here to make sure they weren't uh, poison ivy. Yeah. No, nope, they're not. They're raspberries. Raspberries they're and, Vir they and Virginia quick creeper in here. But uh, I got to go out and see if my raspberries are starting to, to look like yours. Probably not. I don't think I've watered them at all. Now, behind Dave over there, we've got to take a look at all these beautiful, beautiful... Astilbees? Astilbees, yeah. yeah this, is, this is Bo's garden. We had a beagle for 16 years who was the best dog on earth. I don't care what anybody else says. Um, he was just a wonderful, wonderful friend. Well, we wanted to since he was such a special dog, give him a That's special nice. tribute That's back nice. here, and so. Yeah. Now the astilbe, uh, they're all kind of not blooming at exactly the same time. They aren't. The, but this one comes out earliest. This burgundy one. Really? Because yes. I would have thought the pink ones were nope. the ones that came out earliest. Nope. This one has always. We've had these in other places in our in our yard, and moved them all back here. And they do like put in, and they water. Like the sh and they, they like, like the water. shade, Yeah, and they too. like water. They don't like to get be dried out. But I, I was surprised in going through garden books and things. They bloom at different varieties, bloom at different times. You can almost keep one blooming from yeah. early, from spring right on up to mm -hmm. fall. because And they stay bright for quite a while yeah, they until do. they start kind of getting brown. And then they're not even that bad looking then. And it, that would go with your burgundy color once mm -hmm. they turn that probably. Is it a burgundy brown that they? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I don't know. And this clematis here about three weeks ago was just full. Was that Jack Manai? 
Was it purple? It was purple, yeah. Jack and Man Eye does it's, well for most people, and just yeah, not and me. Yeah, and that one we just planted this year because I wanted two of them back here to kind of balance the garden off. And I haven't seen anything on that one. We've got another one up here by the family room, and that's got one blossom on it and a couple more that maybe, maybe, maybe might be open by Saturday. I don't know. Yeah, but this one was full. It must have had 30 blossoms on it. it was that's just, nice. I've never seen it so full. I think I, it, in order to get one to look like that in my yard, I'm going to have to buy it already looking that way. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe they don't like my sandy soil. I don't know. Maybe. It's happy right there. It doesn't get tons of sun, but it's happy. Yeah. We had to get uh, bigger trellises to put them on, both of those already. Now, over here on this, um, I'm not sure which it is because there are several plants that look like that. That's Sylvia. That is Okay, um, so is it Sylvia or Silva? Silvia. Sel Sel Salvia. 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 Yeah, and I'm looking at the wire that you, is mm -hmm. that a tomato cage wire? Um, it's just a, a, it could be, I suppose. It's, we got that out of Greenscape because they tend to want to go like yeah. this. And people, and people should know that they, but you got to do it early. So that it's they, once early, they fall yes. down, then you try to pull them up and they break off. Yeah, it does. Yes, that's correct. But we had them on early this year. We've got three uh, salvias. Have you ever had any luck with them reblooming? Yeah, they usually do. Okay. You cut them down and then they yep, come back? Yeah, he, he has to finish off yeah, some I just, of the I just cut one stuff, down hoping that that would happen. So, I can't, I can't smell the smell of them, but... I, I'm imagining it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, now we're coming to some of your stones. Yes, we, we hike. And my husband is a very bad boy and picks up stones along the way. They're beautiful stones. Yeah, he looks for, they have to be just right, and then he puts polyurethane on them to keep them kind of... It's beautiful. I love it. Looking. We're going to have them labeled. He has to do that yet. I'm not sure where each of them came, but we have three of them. We have one here. One over there into the family room, and then one by the garage. Okay, we'll have to at so. least get to the one by the family room so yeah. we can get that on camera. Don't take pictures of my dirty patio. I didn't have time to clean it. It wouldn't show up. <laughs> this comes from another one of our trips, these stones. That looks like petrified wood. And I don't think it's petrified, but it's, uh, it's just a piece of driftwood he picked up. Yeah. Probably out in California when we were out there in one of the parks out there. Glass Beach or something like that, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we've done a lot of traveling the last few years. And putting putting that, uh, you said polyether. Yeah, it's a, like a lacquer thing. That really, thing. really yeah. brings out the colors. Yeah, it does. So other people are going to have to do that now that they've seen what easy, you do. It's easy to do. You just slap it on. It's not like you have to be careful or anything. Yeah, which you, you, you don't think about it until you see that somebody's done it. And you said there's one over here by the garage? Yes, there's one over here by the driveway. Oh wait, we gotta talk about this. Oh, my Karen? Yeah. Well, as I said, we're hikers. And so when you're hiking and it, there's no trail, an actual trail, they pile up stones and you follow those stones and they're called Karens. And I found a couple somewhere. I think it was Kmart, but I'm not sure. And I thought, oh, how appropriate for us to have some Karens at each end of our path right here. Yeah. But if you get over slip rock, which is just rocks, you have to have these or you have no idea where you're going. Yeah, I can and see that. And sometimes people get kind of mischievous and they build Karens going different directions and you don't know which one to follow. Well, that's mean. So. <laughs> <laughs> just, being, just being a stinker. Yeah, and that... Uh... That hanging basket is huge. Yeah. Isn't that huge, Dave? Mm -hmm. Well, have, is there anything else we need to take a look at in your garden? Um, I don't think so. I think we've hit about everything. Okay. Oh, there's a cute little bench back there. Did you get that, Dave? It says dream. That's neat. Okay, well. I got that at Cracker Barrel. I'm starting to buy my clothes there. They got a lot of stuff there. <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> well, thank you very much for letting us come. Thank Absolutely. you for letting the, the local people come and see We're what you've done. We're looking forward to it.
and uh, I will see you Saturday morning. We'll be here. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> if you would like to become a Master Gardener, call 969-0270, extension 116. If you have questions or suggestions about this show, call 963-1448. Your voice, your community.